the Prime Minister is planning a mini reshuffle of Cabinet later today. Uh, within the changes, he's going to announce a new party chairman to replace Nadim Zahawi, who was sacked over tax affairs. That was over a week ago. Joining us now, our political correspondent Tom Harwood with his take on this one. Uh, how important is that role of party chairman and who's favourite to get it, Tom? It's a pretty totemic role, not least because these local elections, really important national set of elections, when are they are going to happen? Up in May. May, right? And that is uh, becoming a very, very close point of time. And the reason that's important is we've seen all of these polls for a very long time suggesting where the Labour Party might be, where the Tories might be, but we've seen no national electoral events to confirm whether or not that's what it's like actually on the ground. So this will be some sort of big moment of of taking stock of actually feeling the results of those polls and that could put the Prime Minister's position in a bit of jeopardy. But before we get all to that, there needs to be someone to run those local elections, to rally the troops, mm -hmm. to organise the campaign within the Conservative Party and that's what the chairman of the Conservative Party is all about. Right, so that might mean a lot of people don't want to do that role because it's not expected to be a particularly good election for the Conservatives. Mm. We asked Andrew Mitchell this morning, he said, no, I'm very happy in the role that I'm doing yeah. and in fact we've got a clip now of Grant Shapps being asked the exact same question by Camilla Tomney on Sunday. Actually, he was talking about Boris Johnson, who he doesn't think wants the job either, but he also admitted he's not keen. Let's have a listen in. Our priorities are the people's priorities, you know, getting growth into the economy, halving inflation, uh, actually being able to reduce debt over the longer run, cutting the NHS waiting list, stopping the small boats. These are the things people care about, and only the Conservatives are going to deliver that. So a chairman uh, will be out there, I assume across the country, selling that message, and that is the job of a, as a party chairman as well as organising the campaign. Uh, as I well know, uh, I wouldn't want to uh, ever do that job again. I wish uh, whoever does do it every <laughs> success, and I'll certainly be lending them uh, all of my help. There you go, ruled himself mm. out. Well, of course, Grant Shapps has already done the job from 2013 through to 2015. He was seen to be quite a successful chairman of the party. Of course, the 2015 election was won by the Conservative Party. But at the moment, this job feels like a bit of a poison chalice mm. to many. And so I've been saying since this uh, role came up, it's unlikely to be someone currently in the Cabinet taking on this job. Okay. Initially, the speculation was it could have been Lord Haig, who then ruled himself out about a day after that speculation was bubbling around Westminster. The name this morning that is doing the rounds is Greg Hands. Now, he's a junior minister in the Trade Department, as things stand. He was uh, put in to plug a gap left when Connor Burns was sacked following this uh, investigation, which actually Connor Burns was cleared of. So this could be a relatively neat swap, so the theory goes. Mm -hmm. If Greg Hands becomes the chairman of the Conservative Party, could Connor Burns then return to the Trade Department as a minister? However, then we get into the wider scope of the reshuffle, it looks like the Trade Department itself may be changing fairly significantly. Theresa May created a department called BAYS, Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy. This used to be the, the Business Department and the Energy and Climate Change Department. It was sort of merged. It looks like Rishi Sunak may be wanting to split this department in two, combining business with trade and leaving a standalone department for energy, given how important energy is now in our political conversation. Uh, and also, a third department looks like it could be carved up chopped in half, and that's DCMS, standing for Department for, for Digital Culture, Media and Sport. It seems that there could be a Department for Digital in and of its own right created today, with the media and sport siphoned off somewhere else, maybe a standalone department, but it would be a pretty thin department, so perhaps folded into something else. And we're, we were expecting there could be structural changes and along those lines. Rob expected to stay. In all of this. Rob expected likely to stay. It looks like this is based upon the speculation that we've seen from all of the reports of what the actual alleged bullying is said to be.